Hey guys, it's me, Sarah. I know that it's been a really long time since I've posted a video or done anything that has to do with YouTube, really. Um, things have just been really crazy. I've been working out a lot um, and focusing on um, improving myself health-wise and um, mentally and all of that. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I just needed, like, just a break. I'm getting back into things. Um, this is just going to be a really quick video about um, some of the uh, I shadow creams or creamy eyeshadows I've been into lately. Um, I've purchased quite a few. Well, not quite. Well, I guess kind of quite a few. Um, one of them is like I've kind of deemed it sort of a holy grail product. Um, so I'll show that in a moment. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, Makeup Forever's uh, what do they call this? I have the box here. Makeup Forever Aqua Cream um, Waterproof Cream Color. This is for your eyes or your cheeks. Um, I don't know if I would use this on um, cheeks personally. I'd feel more comfortable using it uh, just on my eyes and I have. Um, this is in the color 13. Hopefully you can see it. It's kind of like a bronzy, sort of like a, a shell bronze kind of almost rose gold color but very faint. Um, so actually, you know what, it's more of a champagne now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's a champagne. So that's what it looks like swatched. It's very, very creamy. It's not like, um, the color tattoos by Maybelline where those are kind of like, they're tough, kind of, like you can rub your finger on it and get product that way and it's perfectly fine. This, I feel like if you, like, really pushed into it, you could, um, actually damage it and, and, um... Yeah, damage it. I guess damage the product is what I'm trying to say. Sorry if I'm not being very articulate today. So that is what it looks like. It's really just like this lovely kind of champagne color. Lovely. That just seems like such a silly word. But I don't know how else to explain it. I just feel like this color looks so delicate and pretty. I also purchased from my CCO my Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Eye Cream and Stay in Place Eye Cream, sorry. And this one I got in Precious Jade. It's number three. They have two green shades. Um, this one I feel like is the less teal of the two. This I think has more gold in it or more yellow I guess in it. I don't know if I would call this a jade per se. I feel like it's a lot more um, like more of a moss green than actual jade green. But let me go ahead and swatch this for you. And I think this is pretty comparable to the Maybelline um, in texture. To the Maybelline um, color tattoo eyeshadows. And this is a really pretty color. I really do like this one. That right there. It's really nice. So Makeup Forever is number 13, and then this is Estee Lauder's number 3, and it was called Jade, right? Precious Jade, excuse me. The Makeup Forever ones, that the, the only thing that I really don't like about Makeup Forever is that they don't have any names, which I guess I don't particularly mind, except that I feel like the numbers are easy to get confused. So if you're trying to tell somebody, oh yeah, I'm wearing number 13 on my eyes and it's really number 33 or something and you just forget, I just feel like that makes it harder for other people to look for those colors. I don't know. Um, the one thing that I really want to rave about um, are these Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Sticks. I really wanted to try the ones by CoverGirl for a while. Um, but I didn't like the colors they had them in. I didn't think they were particularly, particularly, um, neutral. Like, they had a lot of fun colors, but I wanted something that was a little bit more easy to wear at work and during the day, um, that would be easy and on the go, because pretty much, I mean, this is, like, really fast. Um, like, for instance, the other day I was running crazy late for work. Oh, well, not crazy late. I had woken up crazy late, and I literally had flown out of my bed into the bathroom. I was washing my face. I shoved my facial moisturizer into my purse because I literally didn't have time to moisturize. So I'm in the car putting moisturizer on. I get to work. Luckily, I get there about 10 minutes early, or I, I tend to relieve because I have to relieve somebody from their post to take over. Um, I tend to relieve people about 15 minutes early, and I got there 10 minutes before that even, so I was really happy that I got there not only on time but earlier than that. So I ran into the bathroom, and I had one of these with me, and I literally had an eyeliner and an eyeshadow in one thing. So that was great. And I think I brought my under-eye concealer and... Um, 
mascara with me. So I was good to go. I looked semi-normal. I was a little pale because I wasn't any, wearing any bronze or anything like that. But, you know, other than that, I these were, like, so convenient to shove into your purse if you are running late or if you feel like you need to touch up um, before you get off from work and you're going on a date or out to drinks with friends or something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch these really quick. And I actually have one that I... Um, I'm going to open because I just purchased it today because it comes in packaging that looks like this and I wanted to show you what the package looks like. Um, anyway, so this first one is called Atomic or in French, Nuclear. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that in French because I'm not French and I'll butcher it. Um, so this one actually has kind of like a really dark green shade, um, almost like a blackened green or a charcoal green and that's the green side, and then the other side is kind of like this really sparkly, glittery, or not sparkly, kind of like, yeah, almost glittery um, gold shade, and that's what that one looks like. So this is um, Atomic together. So this one is called Volcanic. So the last one was Atomic, this one's called Volcanic. Um, and the only thing I really hate about these, I will say, is that, see that, how, see how it's like, Okay, so it fits perfectly in there, but then it'll, like, come out all the way. That's, like, actually really annoying. So I thought about depotting these, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep them the way it is because it's kind of fine as long as it's in the packaging itself. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this dark shade. And this is kind of like, this is like a charcoal gray color. Um, and then this next one is kind of like a white, um, super glittery kind of like, I don't know sort of like icy color, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. It's definitely white and glitter. So that is up here. Up here is um, volcanic. So this, like, oh man, I just like completely smudged that out. Well, in any case, you can see how blendable it is because I did that. Um, so yeah, that's like a charcoal color. I actually wore that to a baseball game in the sweltering heat. It was like 102 outside at the baseball park. Um, I went to a major league game. And first off, the game was pretty awesome, even though we had terrible seats, but we still had fun. Um, and my eyeshadow creases like crazy. Like, it doesn't matter what I use. I could use the color eye tattoos, even... Yeah, the color tattoos, even those kind of crease on me. And even um, the Makeup Forever one kind of creases on me a little bit. These don't crease on me at all. So just another thing to be happy about. Um, let me re-swatch this so you guys can get a better look because I know I just like completely jacked this up. Um, anyway, so yeah. So it's like this nice col um, charcoal color. And then it's got like this color over here that, uh, to me, it's kind of like a throwaway color. I don't really care for it very much. I don't really think that it's wearable or usable or anything like that. Um, and then this one, like I was saying, is my favorite um, duo out of all the shadows that I've tried so far. I'm going to swatch the other one that I just purchased so you guys can see that one, and, and kind of because I want to see it too because I haven't looked at it yet. Um, so I like this one. This is my favorite because it does have like this nice kind of like um, molten brown, um, sort of almost burgundy shade. Um, and then this side is like this really nice, almost like frosty peach color, and I love it because I feel like th these two, I can use both of these, so I can literally shove this in my bag and be good to go. I feel like with these, I really only like the dark colors. The gold one's fine, but even that has that gl glitter in it, and I don't, I just don't find that very usable. It's nice, but it's not, it's not as nice as I'd like it to be. Um, anyway, I preferred it was just if it was just metallic. So this one is called um, Torch, and I love this one. Um, there's that, like, kind of, like, bronzy, almost kind of, I don't know, burgundy tint to it, but it's definitely, like, a, a nice bronzy color. And then this side is, like, a nice kind of um, pinky peach champagne color. And I love that one, too. I just think it's really perfect for the inner corner. It just looks really cute. And I'm actually wearing both of these right now. So um, what I did was I just, um, I don't know if you can see because I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up. But basically what I did was I just put this dark part all over the bottom part of my lid. And then I used like a nice um, kind of um, soft brush to kind of blend it all up. And then I use this again to go ahead and um, just be my eyeliner. And then I use this in the inner corner. And um, the inner corner, excuse me. So, and you can use it on your lower lash line too. And it stays put, which I love because even though it's blendable for like the first 10 minutes, once it sets, it sets. That's it. It's not really going to move around a whole lot. So, um, this next one is called Smolder. And this is like kind of blue, um, sort of 
I don't know, it is kind of blue base looking. So I'm going to go ahead and compare this actually to the green because when I first saw this, I thought they already have kind of like a green, a dark green one. So why do they have like this blue frosty shade, whatever. Um, so then I kind of compared the two because last time when I looked at this one, this one was not available in the store because I'd already purchased it and they just didn't have it on the rack. Um, but they are really different. So this is more of like a forest kind of like darker green. Um, pretty intense and more yellow based. This is obviously a little more blue tone and kind of more of just like a dark teal, which I thought was really interesting. I don't wear a whole lot of blues, and because I love these so much, I figured why not just try it and see if I liked it. So I'm about to swatch it for the first time, so we'll see if I like it. So it's definitely got like a nice kind of green teal look to it. Um, it's got a little bit of a iridescent kind of glitter in it, but you can barely see it. So that's what it looks like. I think I'm just going to I think it's just going to have to grow on me. I definitely can see myself using it and it being wearable. Um yeah. So I I'll, I'll definitely use it. I do really like that the color. And then this side, I don't really see myself using this one a whole lot. It's just a blue. And this one actually has like the same kind of finish, the blue side as this um kind of peachy shade that's from um Torch. So I don't know. I'm actually really pleased with this. I I really wish that the lighter shades in all the sticks were the same finish because this kind of like metallic frosty shade, I find it to be a little bit more wearable. Whereas this, like, especially on the white one, this weird chunky gross glitter is like, it's just not wearable. I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to put that in there. The the in the gold it's not quite as noticeable, but in this white, it's so I just I just think it looks really cheap and nasty. Um but other than that, I really really like them. I think that these are phenomenal products. I highly recommend these because I've been wearing them pretty much nonstop for the past week and a half. No, two weeks. Two and a half weeks? I can't really I can't really remember. But yeah, nonstop. I love these. And they do swirl up they do kind of like move up and down. Again, the only pro, I mean, the only con that I can see is that these, this one's new, so it's not really doing it, but I purchased this one brand new, and this like peach shade, which I absolutely love, was already kind of like knocked out and falling out of the, uh, the little container that it's in, or the little twisty thing that it's in. So that was like kind of sort of, I mean, I was really irritated by that, but it hasn't affected the product at all. Um, it hasn't affected the packaging at all. It's pretty much just that the product, I guess, got away from whatever they have going on inside the mechanism. Um, so, yeah, I'm a nerd. I just use the word mechanism. Um, anyway, so yeah, I really, really highly recommend them. I think that they're well worth the money. I think when I purchased... Smolder um, at Target, it was like $7 maybe. Um, I think you get a ton of product. And like I said, the really great thing is you can totally use this as a liner. If you're great with eyeliners or you've got a steady hand, even with the dull tip, you can still use it as an eyeliner. If you're somebody who wanted to try the CoverGirl um, eyeshadow sticks but you weren't sure of the lasting power or you weren't sure of the colors because they're pretty... I don't want to say juvenile, but they are really flirt flirty and fun and very, like, kind of summery and spring, but they don't exactly look office appropriate um, or even, like, nighttime appropriate or date appropriate. Um, I feel like this would be a really good alternative, this Revlon Color Stay um, eyeshadow stick because... I don't know. I just I I think the colors are just ha they have a way better to me a far better selection. Um, and knowing this because I've tried them already, they do really stay. Like the lasting power is pretty great in terms of using them as an eyeshadow base rather than just an eyeshadow. Um, I don't know how well they do. I've used them once that way, and I think it just depends on the eyeshadow you're using to um, top it off with whether or not it's going to crease or what have you because while this may do well on its own I don't know how well it'll keep product from sliding around on top of the um, eyeshadow or base itself so that's really just something to keep in mind there if that if that's what you want to purchase this for you can you can sh certainly give it a shot but if I were you and you're going to try it out I would purchase it from a drugstore just in case it ends up not being the way you hoped it would be and then you can just return it and you won't really have lost a whole lot um, but yeah so, I highly recommend these. I think they're phenomenal, and I think that everybody should try them out because they're great. I'm not being very articulate today, but it's literally my first video that I filmed in quite some time, so please forgive me if, if, if I was just being annoying or I did something that was kind of like, why is she, why is she talking like that? Um, anyway, so, yeah, any comments, questions, concerns, like I always say at the end of all my videos, just go ahead and post them down below, and I'll go ahead and, uh, and get back to you and answer your questions. Um, 
Anything else that I can think of? Uh, um, oh yeah, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Um, you can check out my other videos at my channel. Um, yeah, so it's nice to be back, and I can't wait to hear from you all again, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.